both the liquid hydrogen and liquid oxygen tanks are held at on propellant storage facilities on the launch pad. Of course, in the dark of night here, you will not be able to see those overnight, but uh, believe me, they're there. These uh, vessels actually are huge vacuum bottles. Uh, the liquid oxygen tank is actually 900,000 gallons. That's used as the oxidizer for the shuttle's main engines. Liquid oxygen is stored at minus 297 degrees Fahrenheit. There are two pumps that supply about 1,200 gallons of oxidizer per minute. You can see those pumps right now starting their warm-up process. They actually transfer the liquid oxygen from the storage tank on the pad into the shuttle's external tank. On the liquid hydrogen side, that storage tank on the launch pad is about 850,000 gallons. It stores the minus 423 degrees Fahrenheit liquid hydrogen. Pumps are not required for that propellant. As the hydrogen is loaded, the first small amount of liquid hydrogen vaporizes, and this action creates a gas pressure at the top of the tank that actually moves the extremely light fuel through the transfer lines. So no pumps are required for the liquid hydrogen side of things.